everyone and welcome to the Kiki London YouTube channel. My name is Amanda and in today's video we are going to be doing a Neon Nala tutorial. So I really hope you all enjoy watching. I love getting the neons out. They are so fun to work with. So here I have the Neon Vibes collection. So you can purchase these colours as a entire collection of all six colours or you can purchase them individually if you would prefer. I personally would recommend grabbing all six because they are absolutely gorgeous. So we have a pink, which is Raven Dull. Orange is Milava. Then the yellow in this one is called Yellow Caution. I really love the yellow and green. They kind of remind me of highlighter colors. Then we have Acid Green. And then for our purple, we have Diva. I really love this purple as well. I tend to use this one a lot when I'm doing non-neon sort of sets as well. And then lastly, the blue is called Neon Prince. So start off with, I always like to have my neon sets having a white base. So I'm going to actually come in with the new Hema Free Classic White and apply a thin coat of this. Now I'm coming straight in with this color because I'm working on display tips. If you was working on yourself or a client, you would do all of your prep and base coat first. Now if I was doing this set on myself, if I was going to be using a base coat, I would use RB01, which is a white base coat. So then it eliminates needing to use a white gel polish. But if you don't have that, then of course you can use your white gel polish. So I've done a classic white on all four of the nails that we're going to be using. And then I'm going to start off by popping down all six of those shades onto my palette. Now, the reason I like to have a white base down is I find the neons really pop that a little bit more over a white a base you don't have to do this step step sorry but i do find when you're working over your natural nails and you've got a pinky brownie nude nail you know your natural nail color sometimes it can just affect the colors the neon colors so just having that white layer down evens out the color of the nail bed and then just really brings the neons to life so let's talk Nala on the first design. We're going to be doing a design that I've actually seen done quite a lot with pigments and I wanted to try doing it with a gel polish. So pigments, when you're placing them down, they naturally blend together. I didn't necessarily want to go for a too blended effect when I was working with gel polish. So all I'm basically doing is picking up all six of the colors and placing them down in random patches on the nail. I'm not necessarily blending them together but I'm not stressing if they do run into one another a little bit. And I wanted to try and make sure that I had a good variety of colors covering the nail. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't having say too much of the pink or too much of the orange, which did get a little bit harder because we're using six different colors and we're trying to fill the nail. But yeah, the, this design was quite fun. Like I said, I've seen it done with pigments and it does look a little bit different with pigments, but I do quite like the different style of effect that it gives off with gel polish. And I always find gel polish that little bit easier to work with than pigments because I tend to get in such a mess when I work with pigments. So now we've got our color down, we're gonna pop that in to cure for 30 seconds and it is a really random base, but I think it looks quite fun. Then we're gonna come in with a layer of blooming gel. So we're just going to pop a thin layer of our blooming gel down over the entire nail. And one of the colors I absolutely love teaming with neons is a black. So we're going to take the new classic black from the new Hema Free Range and I'm going to pop this down on my palette. And we're going for a little bit of a kind of like an alligator print look, I believe it would be. So I've taken quite a large dotting tool and then I'm just going to dip into my classic black, go straight down the center of the nail and then straight down one the middle of one side and then the same again on the other side we're going to let the blooming gel do its thing and let the black bloom a little bit and then once you're happy of how much it's bloomed we're going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds now i wish i had let this bloom a little bit more so that the black would have taken over the design a little bit more but it's a really random fun effect so let me know what you think of this one in the comments below on to the second design this one i think has to be one of my favorites out of the four designs we do so over the top of our white base i'm going to cut off some of these line nail art stickers now a lot of the time you use these as an actual sticker so you'll pop them down in your design but here i'm going to kind of be using them like a stencil or a guide so that we have a marble on one half of the nail and then we're leaving the other half of the nail completely plain and it's going to help us give a nice crisp line because it's really hard to get a marble the edge of a marble to be really nice and crisp 
So we're going to pop that line art sticker down the center of the nail securing it down but i don't want to rub it too much because these are super super sticky and then once they are fully secured down it can be a little bit hard to remove them so i've only gently rubbed over it then on that one side of the nail i've applied a thin layer of the blooming gel you always leave your blooming gel wet and then you pop your colors into that wet blooming gel so we're going to be doing a marble like i said so taking my round nail art brush i'm just picking up all six of those colors placing them down next to one another completely covering that one side of the nail and then we're going to marble them together using a dotting tool now there's lots of different ways to do marbles you've probably seen some of the time I create my marble actually on the palette but when I'm working in a smaller section of the nail I like to do the marble actually on the nail so this was a slightly different way of doing it usually I'll place my colors down a little bit differently but because we were using six colors I found this way the easiest so now we've got our blooming gel down all of our colors we're going to take the Kiki London dotting tool and I'm simply going to swell from side to side going through all of those colors and I loved the effect that it gave off of course you can do different swells and create your marble however you like for this design I went side to side and I quite liked how it zigzagged through those colors then we're going to gently peel off that line art sticker and as you see we've got a pretty neat straight line I'm just going to come in with my angled nail art brush just to clean it up so it's super super sharp now with my angled nail art brush I've just wiped it on to one of the Kiki London alcohol pot wipes just so it's slightly damp and then here I was just fixing up the marble a little bit just so there was a nice crisp line then we're going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds now of course if you wanted to you could keep the other half of the nail white but I like I said I wanted to go for a neon and black vibe with this set so I'm going to take my striped liner brush and the classic black and we're going to draw a line straight down the center of that nail now the striped liner brush is great for doing any of these long crisp lines as you can see the brush is doing a lot of the work for me I just anchor my little finger onto my thumb this gives me good control and balance loading up my brush and then we're just going to simply wipe down the center of that nail then we're going to fill in the rest of the half of the nail using the bottle brush so I'm just being really careful that I don't come over that line of course because we've cured the marble if you did come over you could clean it up with your angle nail art brush and a little bit of alcohol and then we're going to pop that in secure and that is the second design finish as I said this one and the third one were my two favorite nails in this design set but let me know in the comments below which two you preferred so on to the next one we're going to do kind of similar we're carving out a section of the nail that we want to be black so I'm going to come straight across with my striped liner brush and I just want the bottom third of the nail to be black so I always like to do this with my striped liner brush this helps give you a really nice crisp sharp line and then we're going to fill that in with the bottle brush now I am going to do two coats of the black here because I wanted it to really pop but I'm going to do one coat then we're going to do the tie dye and then we'll do the second coat of black and I'll explain why using the new hema free classic black throughout this set really give me a chance to play around with the color and i'm really really loving it as with any black gel polish you want to work with it nice and thin because black can sometimes be tricky to cure and sometimes it can bubble in your lamp if you apply it too thick or it might not cure properly so always make sure with your blacks especially you are working nice and thin it's better to do two thin coats than try and just do one coat now as I said on this design we're going to do a tie dye effect so I'm taking my striped liner brush and we're going to use all six of those colors I'm just going to alternate through them so we started off with raving doll and then we've got in with me lava I'm cleaning off my brush on a little alcohol wipe just out of shot after each color just so I'm not muddying up the colors or mixing them together then we're going to take yellow caution and another thing to bear in mind when you're doing any tie dye design is you want to make sure there's no gap between your colors so don't worry if they hit and blend together a little bit but you do want to make sure that they are hitting one another otherwise you end up seeing more of the white through your tie dye design so next to yellow caution we're going to come in with acid green of course you could pop your colors down in any pattern that you prefer i just was going from what was on my palette then we're going to take diva i absolutely love this color i really loved how it looked against the acid green as well 
Diva and Neon Prince work really well together. And I find that Me Lava and Raven Doll work really well together as well. But obviously they work so well together as a collection. So now that we get to Neon Prince, I'm going to then, obviously because we've still got a little bit of space to cover, because we want to cover that whole white section, I'm going to go back to the first colour, which was Raven Doll. And I'm just going to fill in as much as I can. So I don't use all six of the colours again. I think we stop on yellow caution just because there wasn't any space left and also when you're doing this design you can do your lines as thick or as thin as you want you will still be able to create the tie dye effect even if you do your lines slightly thicker like marble it's another one of those designs that you can really play around with it and create different patterns and different effects it's just a lot of fun I always find I love doing nails I always say a lot of the time oh I had so much fun doing this design but with the neons especially I always have so much fun playing around with them now for the tie dye design you want to pull through your gel polishes whilst they're still wet going in alternative directions so I would like to start at the center and come towards me and then on either side we've gone in the opposite direction and then I'll just alternate through I'm also wiping off my brush because you are pulling off some of the color so that gel polish is, is going to end up on your brush so I like to wipe it off before doing the next line just so we get a nice clean line and I love the effect that this gave off now you could if you want to leave those little colored lines coming over the black I decided I'd wipe them off today so I'm going to take my angled nail up brush and clean that off so there's a nice crisp line between our black section and our tie dye and this is also where I'm going to come in and do my second coat of that black as well because it's going to help give us a nice crisp line where the tie dye finishes keeping that super super thin because it is a very pigmented color so I didn't feel as though it was necessary to put down a second coat but I wanted that neat crisp line and then that is our third design finished. So we're going to move on to the fourth and final one. Now on this one, again, we're kind of just using the neons to create a base for a black nail art design on top. Very similar to what we've done on the first design. Now I'm using my ombre brush, but we're not actually going to be doing an ombre. But I love this brush for getting a textured effect. So what I'm doing is taking all six of those colors again and just roughly popping them down on to the nail and then because you've got the finer bristles at the top end of the brush it's going to give you that textured effect which I really really like with the neons I've done this before with the pastel neons as well and it was really fun that's another collection I highly recommend checking out for summer it's the neon pastel collection maybe I'll try and include some of them in one of the upcoming videos let me know if you have any designs or any tutorials you would like to see in the comments below it's really brilliant to get feedback and know what you guys want to see whether it be a certain nail art design a certain theme so for example say mermaid nails or if there's something you're struggling with and you'd like me to maybe do a tutorial on how to use that product so I'm going to do two coats of this to get the colors to really pop because to get the textured effect you need to work with them quite thin so I'm going to come over all of those colors again with a second coat and just blend them together a little bit on this coat as well so as you can see here as I take down and add the yellow caution I'm blending it in a little bit to all of the colors surrounding it and I really loved how this base looked. It just is a really unique way to play around with the colors and do different things to create different bases. And of course, once you've got your base, you can pop any kind of design down over the top. Stamping, black stamping, for example, looks really fun over these kind of vibrant bases because you can pop down quite simple stamped images and then it allows the background to take center stage kind of thing. So once we've got that base done, we're going to pop that in to cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to come in and matte top coat. So I'm going to do a thin coat of matte top coat. And I'm solely doing this because I'm going to be doing hand painting over the top. And I always find hand painting easier to do over a matte surface. So I'm just popping a really thin coat of this down. It does also give you guys the chance to see what these colors look like matte as well. I really loved this base with a matte top coat. So now on to this design, we're sticking with our striped liner brush and the classic black, and we're going to do a animal print design. So I wanted to do a mix of different animal prints. We're going to kind of do some stripes and then some leopard print spots as well. And whenever I'm doing animal print, whether it be 
you know, tiger print, zebra print, leopard print, anything that's kind of got a bit of a fur look to it. I like to do the lines quite jagged and rough rather than smooth and sharp. And it helps give off that textured look. And I thought that looked really good over the textured base as well. So on both the sides, I'm coming in with kind of like a zebra print. So I'm doing some triangles and then some wavy lines. I kind of usually, when I do animal print, I'll get a reference picture. So I'll just go on print, Pinterest and look at whatever animal print I'm going to do just to help refresh my mind of how it looks I didn't do that today so I struggled a little bit with the zebra style print for the leopard print I'm just doing a rough circular shape and then coming around the edges with some rough lines and then we'll also just pop some dots in on their own and some little zigzags in on their own as well but like I said again we're not worrying about creating super rounded shapes or super smooth shapes I want to have that kind of rough textured effect so we're just going to do this sweeping down the center of the nail and then once that's done that is the fourth and final design finished so fairly simple nail art but we played around with a couple of different techniques but overall it was a really fun set of nails to do it's very out there you might not necessarily want to wear all four of these designs on your nails but they would look really fun as accent nails say on the ring or the pointer finger in a set of nails i love the neons let me know in the comments below if you are a neon lover of course the neon nails work really well the neon gel polish sorry work really well for pride nails as well so it did have a little bit of a pride feel to this set as well which again is another beautiful set to do so this is what the designs look like once we are all finished we're then just going to come in and top coat so today i thought i would use the new hema free top coat so i'm just going to float a thin coat of this on so when i say float i'm kind of just coming over making sure sure we're smoothing out the texture that we've got on the nail from doing the different levels of nail art especially the hand painted nail art the marble and the blooming gel one so I'm just going to come over the nail a few times just so we get a nice even but thin coat of top coat you don't want to be applying your top coat too thickly as again this like with your black can affect curing so make sure you're applying a nice thin coat and that guys is the end of the video. We're just gonna pop this in to cure for 60 seconds. So as always, I will leave all of the products I've used linked in the description box below. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite design was and if you have any requests. If you're not already subscribed, please do hit that subscription button. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I shall see you all again in next Friday's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.